Hey guys, how's it going? Greg here. here. <laughs> oh, we nailed that. In sync. <laughs> what do we have for them? So, this is our first video from New Zealand. It took us a while, admittedly, okay, but there are gonna be more coming. Uh, but we're starting with a really nice one, which is. Hobbiton! So, um, we had a really, really nice guide. Let's start from that. And thank yeah. him. His name was Dan. Yep. And um, you will see why later in the video because he showed us like parts that were like super secret. Yeah. So, this is. Um, Hobbiton is in a big farm. And this is arriving there. There's, there's a lot of arriving. There's quite a drive, and there's lots of green, there's lots of animals, because it's a farm. It's a real farm. It's a function farm. And this is kind of the, the alleyway. When I first got into this, I remembered like all the movies that kind of go through here. This is this is the Shire, guys. The, the Shire. Shire. IRL. Yes, it's exactly... They basically built the set for the movie, for, for the trilogy, Lord of the Rings, and then uh, they used it also for... Um, a Hobbit and uh, the added parts and honestly in my experience the houses was just the right size This is the first one here that we see little Hobbit houses. They're there's Hobbit houses. There's so many people, people there houses. There's so many people there like we, we did a private super special exclusive tour because people tours were starting every five minutes literally, <laughs> but we were lucky because we got a private tour and we got to see like all the nice places like in peace and actually get some footage for you and get really nice pictures though. So you can experience the, the Shire Hobbiton for yourself through our video here. So we start with like the main area and this is the garden, this is the garden shed. He cannot stand in that. No, I can't stand anything. <laughs> I can stand in all of them. Like just, just IRL upright. Hobbit. Yeah. Um, they have amazing gardeners and the, the flowers there are are so colorful and so well kept that I just yeah I, I want to take a picture of everything. Um, it's also New Zealand and not like Canada, so you know things do grow pretty nice. It, they have rainforests and everything. It, it was there. also like spring there, like yeah. late-ish spring. Um, all these houses that you see are, are props from the movie and they don't really have an inside. Like they. they they have an inside, either, but it's not interesting. It's just a room that is empty. Pretty yeah, the, much. the inside of the Hobbit houses, they were filmed in basically studios because, mm -hmm. you know, every detail counts. I think they did try to do a little bit of the insides just because you can, you can see inside the windows a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's pretty rough inside and you'll get to see a little bit of that in a moment here. Uh, we have uh, almost all of the houses that we encountered for you, um, I, I think, at least. It's a really sunny day. It, it was a really, it was our whole trip to New Zealand was like mostly sunny. <laughs> we kind of got sunburned. Uh, Again. We, um, so the houses are like very themed, like you'll see the bread house, you'll see the gardener's house, the uh, cheese house, or like uh, there's weaving. A, there's a bakery, there's a washer. Um, <laughs> Washing machine house. And um, you will see later that all the props and stuff, they are now left there permanently because it's working every single day. I actually think they told us they work almost every day of the year yeah. except for like maybe Christmas or something. And maybe New Year's. I think it's all but two, all but one. I'm not too sure. And they have They're very, very busy. Many thousands of visitors every day. They're yeah. really, really um, what, good at managing crowds though. So even if you are... Props. Props. No, that's right. Live these are props. Real. These are real. So there's a pheasant and I don't remember how the other ones are called. But our guide told us that the only time he actually had to yell at people. Yeah. <laughs> the kid tried to kick one as a soccer ball. Like, they're nice. It gives you an insight to them. humanity, right? <laughs> um, so I was saying that, yeah, they, they're really good at managing crowds. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't have a private tour, um, you don't really, you know, bump into too many people. They have, like, uh, they have in, them in groups and they keep them moving really, really well. Um, I certainly would recommend a private tour, but it's a little pay to win. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so I think around th this is um still the area. I think I have like forty approximately houses, and then some more. Yeah. They're that's way the more than I thought. That's the washer. Yeah. I think house. Um, and um, around this area is uh, is like uh, accessible for everyone, but then this area is not accessible because I think these are the new newer houses that were added for the Hobbit. 
and uh, they just keep them for because they still do some like documentary shootings and stuff there so they kind of keep them and this is you'll see it's a bit not as well kept around like in terms of mowing they're more stuff. rustic yes they're more rustic but yes, we got access there <laughs> well we're celebrities we're, we're youtube celebrities clearly <laughs> so um yeah they also told us that all of these props they have them out now but when the movie was happening they literally got someone to just uh, distribute them in the houses every morning mm -hmm. uh, and then collect them every evening. Um, yeah, just everything Everything on this set is insane in terms of the detail, in terms of what it takes to maintain it. Everything is a prop, even the food. The only thing that's not the props... Door. Let's knock a door. Wait. Oh, this is the one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see who comes from this. You can see a little bit of the inside <laughs> here. That's my hand. <laughs> yes, very blinged hand. <laughs> They're not meant That's to. That's not a hobby. <laughs> they're not meant to be opened, by the way, the doors. <laughs> yes. So they're a little bit rough. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as I was saying, everything besides the the vegetation, the gardening related things, everything's a prop. The food is a prop. Everything's a prop. The prop go uh, on and off the set for filming. They like dust them when they need to be dusted. Everything is to an absolute insanity of a detail. Um, even even like what was it? The plums. They they were not like. English plums or something. So they, they had, had to rip out to, all of the fruit yeah, and wire the in to be <laughs> English plums on the trees. Just it, like crazy. It detail. was supposed to look like the English country uh, countryside, like the, the um, uh, clothes that are on the on the line. Props. Props, but they are also among the, pe the stuff that like people when they were shooting the movie had to go back and forth. Oh, Every so many day. houses, exhausting. We gotta take a break here. <laughs> he thinks it's an actual pump. Yeah. He likes trying to do that. And no. Like, until you find You're supposed to just hold, it down. just hold it down. This 2019 <laughs> pumps, guys. Oh my god. The, the like, future has arrived. That is so easy. What the hell was I doing before? <laughs> uh. so I, I try the more, the more modern way of using the pump. Like, this bread is, is fake. He, he look at it. No, no, not that. It not looks that's so it. real. <laughs> it is so like so real looking. It is amazing. It's it's so believable. Like, like the colors there. It's, it's just amazing. salivatingly real. Mm -hmm. I like bread. Yeah. Uh, overall, I think the visit takes about like forty minutes, maybe, or, or so of walking. Um, and you get to see um, you the, the, the gardens, mm -hmm. all the houses from the outside. Is that um, that's, the that's, good house? Yes, this is Frodo's house. This is like the main character Bilbo, in... Uh, well, then probably, yeah. yeah, this is the main character in Lord of the Rings. And he has the highest house in the village, presumably because <laughs> the hobbits, um, the ones that are higher up elevation-wise in the village are like those of no higher prestige, of higher social status. <laughs> like the no admittance except on party business. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, and also you get to see the green dragon. You'll see it, you'll see it a bit later, I think. We're on our way there. I think yeah. that's the tree that's on top of the oh, Yeah, house. I want to talk about the tree. The only so, fake tree. The whole, um, all the trees are obviously, except for some uh, that were props and stuff. Modified. Uh, real. Except for the tree on top of Bilbo Baggins' house, which um, was, because they filmed Hobbit uh, later than Lord of the Rings, that's the cheese. But um, in the Lord of the Rings universe, it comes earlier, those events like take place earlier. They had to cut down the original tree and then make it because it was supposed to be smaller. Yeah. So, oh, that's the smallest house there. Oh, that's the smallest that's one. The uh, you, you have a picture the in your Twitter Hobbit that like, it, it, it's up to here. Is it, is it of that one? Yes. There's just so many <laughs> that I kind of lost track of. No, a no, we specifically, bit. because they told mm. us, uh, the guy told us that that was the smallest house. You specifically got. Um, and this is the coolest, craziest picture. big tree, but it's, it was dying a little this bit. This is this is the um, the party field in Hobbit, like yeah. where they have the final like parties, and that's the tree there. And these are the houses around it. Yes, uh, but I mean that tree, yeah, it's it's like a very very old tree, so they're trying their best to prolong their li its life, but yeah, eventually it's fine. We live on in this video. Uh, sure, <laughs> and in many others probably, and the movie. <laughs> Well, you know, in uh, many places, including well, this great primarily place. Primarily in this video. But primarily. Sure, the movie course, too, yeah. <laughs> uh, These are just garden-heavy houses, just lots of plants. Um, you get to see a lot of the detail work 
all little lanterns, all little shades, all, all the wood is looking so rustic, the, the poles. And uh, I think this is where we went to the Green, Green Dragon. Dragon. Yes, Green Dragon is the inn in the movie, and it's the inn there, and it has actual drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, it has, I believe, their own cider and some ale. Yeah, I don't remember the ale exactly. I was ginger ale. Or... I wasn't sleeping a whole lot on this trip, <laughs> so I was I was barely awake. I, I did not ale myself up on this one. <laughs> this is very classical of like New Zealand countryside, mm -hmm. but we have more videos coming on that. Uh, uh, in the next few weeks. And this is like the epic passage to the Green Dragon. It's kind of like behind all the houses. The houses are in one centralized area because it's, again, for like filming purposes. They didn't just have them scattered around as people would normally live exactly. <laughs> they just need a good place to film. So the uh, the back alley is kind of the, the tour run to the tavern and there's a few sites um, on the way there. Duckies. Duckies. Oh, I, have, I have a better ducky come up. Oh. These are black swans, I believe. They just like WTF this. Like, <laughs> like excuse me. <laughs> are you filming? And that is a, um, a, a New Zealand uh, chicken, water is chicken. Yes. Is that one of the rare birds? No, this is the one that oh, looks a like bird. a rare bird, oh, that's but fine. it's very common. Uh, nobody's interested in that then. Yeah. Uh, they have amazing signs. Like, you should pause here and look at the signs. They're amazing. I'm not, I'm not going to yeah go over them, but they have like signs here and signs inside the inn. Like, um, advertisements of... I wonder if we can go in the mill. The mill is like a separate building, right? Yeah, it I don't looks, think... It looks pretty complete, though. Mm, I don't think there is anything to see inside, because mm. they didn't film anything inside, so yeah. they just... Yeah. Like, well, and this is apparently a very famous type of roof. Um, I forget what it's thatched. called. Thatched? Thatched roof? Thistle yeah. roof? I don't know exactly. But apparently they tried to do it, like the, the guys who made the set, and it was kind of a disaster, and they got some pros to come in and really do it from, uh, from the UK. This is the inside. Yeah, that's inside of, of the of the Green Dragon, and um, they have a really good uh, cider and, and drinks there. Um, Those are the staff around, but you can see all all the work that has been done. I don't think they filmed inside the tavern. I think they just thematically did it yeah. for the site of Hobbiton. Mm -hmm. But you can see what good of a job they did. They wouldn't. It wouldn't make sense to film inside the tavern because the, tra the tavern is normal size for normal people, not for for short people like me. Lost Green Cloak last Saturday. <laughs> it's been yeah, there a while. I think that's it pretty much. Yeah, that's our, on that's our way very out. New Zealand on our way out. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And, and make sure to check out the next ones.